Assalamu alaikum. What's up, everybody? I'm going to show you how to make some authentic Adani tea or Ashai al Adani, what you would find at places like Kahwa House or Shibam tea. I'm going to show you how to make it right now. It's going to be delicious. The portions that we're going to use today are going to make us about 24 ounces, fluid ounces of tea, which will fill up about two large mugs and a few of these smaller teacups. The ingredients you're going to need are sugar, three tablespoons three tablespoons, two and a half to three, of loose English breakfast tea. Make sure it's English breakfast and it's a good brand. It's nice and strong. Two thirds of a cup of evaporated milk. Cardamom, you're gonna want four grams. Cloves, you need just two. You don't wanna to go too many. And then a few pinches of ground nutmeg. All the ingredients are pretty much ready. We're gonna to have to grind up the cardamom so that its flavor can make it into the into the tea. So we're, you could use a manual grinder or you can go with a electric one. We'll use an electric one for today. All right. All right, now that we got the cardamom all ground up, we are ready to go. I failed to mention how much water you're going to need. So for this portion, you need about three cups of water. I usually measure up about 2.75 cups. So that's two cups and three fourths of a cup. It usually comes out to the best taste. You could always do three if you want, but from trial and error, I've always found that 2.75 cups is the best. So you're going to put that into a pot. You could put it into a teapot. It's just easier to work out of a pot and you're gonna bring it to a boil. All right, once the water comes to a boil, you're gonna add the first three ingredients, which are the cardamom, the cloves, and the ground nutmeg. You're gonna, of course, wanna lower the heat and pour in. All right, we'll add the cloves and the nutmeg. We're gonna give it a little bit of a stir just to mix everything through and we'll turn the heat back up and we'll let that go for about two minutes or so all right once it's boiled for a bit we're going to add the sugar and we'll mix it through and turn the heat back up we'll only do this for just a little bit about 30 seconds let the sugar melt in all right, after we've let the sugar boil for just about 30 seconds, now we're ready to add the loose tea. We're gonna turn the fire off all the way, and we're gonna take our two and a half to three tablespoons of loose tea, and we're gonna drop them in. All right, and now we're gonna mix it around and we'll turn the heat back on right away. And we're gonna let that boil. What you wanna do is you wanna let it come up about two times. So put it on medium to high heat, it's going to boil up. And you want it to boil up about two times. And you wanna make sure you watch this so it doesn't overspill. And be very careful. So here's that first time coming around. You wanna lower the heat and mix it, and then let it go one more time. After. All right, once we've let it come up one time and a second time, now we're ready to add the last ingredient, which is the evaporated milk. I just so happen to have two thirds of a cup of evaporated milk in this little Tupperware. So I will lower the heat and pour it in. And you'll see color changes, of course. And now we're gonna give it a stir. What we will do is we will stir this and then we will turn the heat and we will let it boil and come up just one time. Once it comes up, we are going to be done. All right, we see it here. It's about to come up now and come to a boil and we will stop it just as soon as it does. All right, we'll turn it off. All right, now this is a very important piece. This is an almost make or break for your tea. So this loose tea, if it stays in the tea for long enough, it'll actually make the drink bitter. So when you go to these places, they actually don't strain it well enough and you might actually, if you don't have the fresh batch, you'll get the bitter 
tea and they'll try to overcompensate with the sugar to remove some of the bitterness. So what you need to do is you need to strain it. How you strain it is up to you. It is somewhat tricky to do. I have a larger measuring cup that I like to use and I use this large strainer and I will just pour it all through and strain it and then I'll bring it back into a teapot. So I'm gonna strain it right now. All right, so we've poured all the tea through the strainer and all the cardamom, the loose tea got caught in the strainer and we have our fresh adani tea. So you'll see it has a very nice and rich dark color. Uh, you don't want to go too dark because the tea will be a little overwhelming. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to pour this in the teapot and get it ready to serve. All right, and now we are ready to serve. So that is how you make some delicious, authentic adani tea or shai al adani. I will post the ingredients and the recipe in the description of this video, and we hope you enjoy it. Take care, y'all. Assalamu alaikum.